Hey YouTube, I'm welcome back to Diva Styles. In this video, I'm pretty much going to be showing you from start to finish um, how I cut with my silhouette curio that is back here. So, let's go. Hey YouTube, I'm welcome back to Diva Styles. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I pretty much make my stickers and my silhouette curio um, from start to finish. So, as of right now, um, it's not even hooked up. I'm going to be doing a uh, the direct connect from my curio to the laptop. Now you can uh, do this with wires. Shoot, I'm not doing the wires, but you can. I'm gonna put that in there. Then I'm gonna use the USB ports to um, on my laptop. Um, I'm just gonna use this to practice to make a sticker with. Uh, I got my cutting mat right here. Let me take this off. Now this is very important. You did did you just see how that stuck to that? You definitely need the um, sticky part down on your mat so that when it is cutting the vinyl, the vinyl does not move. It does not go anywhere. So be sure that you put the sticky part on your mat. Um. And then just strap it down. Y'all, mine is jacked up from the first time I did it. Did not know what I was doing. Still kind of, sort of don't, but <laughs> I got a better understanding. Okay, so once you do that, bring this bad boy thing on over here. Go ahead and backwards because the cutting thing is right there. Go ahead and slide that thing on in there. And this right here is what you use to um, adjust the cutter for the different papers that you have. Okay, so as I said, we're just going to go ahead and what, do do a practice on. Yeah, we're going to do a practice and we're going to see what happens. So... As you can see on my screen, I still have the same thing from uh, yesterday. I selected the area to trace right here. Now I'm going to select trace. It has traced it, so now I should just move everything out the way. I'm not sure if you can see this, but the um, the red area that's left is cut. This is pretty much what is going to cut out of my cutting machine. So let's go. Okay, so once you have your machine turned on, um, and we are still over here, what you would want to do is go over here to send once you got your design aspect um, where you want it. You go over here to send, and it will let you know it says, you know, it's ready down here, it's green, and you can just hit, to, oh shoot, y'all, I didn't even got my vinyl up in the thing. What am I about to cut? Nothing. Okay, so yeah, place your vinyl on the machine. Goodness, that is 101. All right, so once you got your vinyl in the machine, go ahead and hit send. And as you see, it uh, says cutting. And your machine will go ahead and start to do what it is supposed to do. And this can take a while. Y'all, the first time I made a sticker and used this, whew, and I had a sheet of it, y'all, it took a while. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off right here. And I'll be back uh, when it's done cutting. Okay, so as you can see, this is um, it's cut out. I'm going to be showing you how I create the sticker. Um, what I like to use is, uh, what is this? Pretty much contact paper. I got this from Target. 
um, and it's transparent contact paper so that you can see your image or your uh, words through it. I'm just going to go ahead and cut out um, one of these. Just to show you guys as an example. Okay. So I have one of these cut out. I'm not sure if you can see the little can you see the letters? Okay, well, they're there. And then what you want to do is very carefully go ahead and peel the excess off. Peel off what you don't want. Come on. So that you're left with just the letters. Yo, I don't got no nails. Okay. All right, I got it. Goodness, took me long enough. Now, for this part, you usually have uh, tools to better assist you, but y'all, that stuff is still packed up in one of them bags somewhere in my garage. So I don't have it. Only thing I'm using right now is a goddamn toothpick. Which is probably why I don't like doing it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to go get away. Goodness, that's a big old fly. All right. Pull each thing up very carefully. And I use my um, toothpick to hold down the commas. And then you just want to very carefully... Um, Pull off the excess. Oh, goodness. Just like that. All right, now let's get rid of that. Now what you have to do is you have to go up in here, like with the A's, and you got to get out the little uh, space so it has the negative there, and also for the P's. So, um, this is part I do not like. So, as you see, I just lifted it up right there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just pull that little thing on off. Come on out. This is the part I hate, y'all. I can't stand this. Okay. And, uh, same thing with peas as well. Get on out of there. Y'all got to bend down a little. I can't really see what I'm doing. All right. Get on off. Okay. To pretty much where you are left with this. And this is where your transparent contact paper comes in. Today. I don't use that that big variety. Okay. Then I'm just going to pretty much size this up. I need something that's going to cover it. Okay, so once I got a piece that covers it, you're going to want to go ahead and peel this off of your trans of your um the backing just go ahead and apply this to this and push it down on your words I usually don't have all this excess I don't know why I did that because this is going to help your customer to apply it to uh, whatever they want to apply this to their mug, their cup, I have no idea. And then I just go around and cut off the excess. Cut off what I don't need. Just like that. And because this is an example, I'm going to go ahead and show you how they would um, apply this to 
12. Give me a second. Okay, so y'all, this is the only glass I can find in my uh, cabinet. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And I'm going to put this, like, pretty much, like, right there, I think. Okay. So, what you want to do now is you want to go ahead and pull up the transparent tape that you put on. And these letters should um, adhere and, you know, be stuck to it. To where the backing of your vinyl has pretty much came off and this is all that you're left with. So, what they're going to do is they're going to pretty much go ahead, line it up, put it where they want to put it on the glass. Smooth it out. Let's see if I can do the same thing with this. And I'll put this on after. Go ahead, press it, make sure it's on there really, really good. So when you peel that tape off, it's pretty much stuck on your glass now. All right, so let's go ahead and start peeling and see what happens. As you can see, it is stuck to the glass. It's on there. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing with the name. Rub that bad boy on there. Alright, I think that's pretty good. So let's go ahead, try to peel this off. Now, as you can see, your customer now has a customized uh, glass, and you were able to pretty much create them a sticker. So if you have any questions at all um, about anything that I went over, please uh, feel free to ask and let me know. And as always, I will see you guys very soon. Bye.